This is Gabe with the PBMS miniseries. Pacific Beach Middle School is an international baccalaureate school, part of 4,000 IB schools worldwide. The school first opened in 1931 and became a junior high in 1950. We have a media center, auditorium, science labs, new learning spaces, athletic fields, and more, such as special clubs and programs unique to the school. PBMS focuses on being innovative and open to students of all backgrounds. It was even made a California IB Spotlight by the California Association of IB World School. There have been quite a few minor refurbishments throughout the years, but by far the most major one happened in 2019. But it's still being done as we speak, but we'll get to the new building later. Students arrive Monday through Friday at either 7.15 or 8.15, depending on whether they choose to do zero period. An extra hour of school for another elective of their choice. Students can either get dropped off in the parking lot slash drive through area, or they can walk or bike to school. We have a gate on Diamond Street for students who arrive that way, and a bike rack area on the side of Ingram Street for bikes and skateboards. Around 12.45 on regular days, or 11.55 on minimum days, students have lunch. This can be on the blacktop, the food court by the science building, or at clubs. We have a variety of different lunchtime activities such as ASB's hosted events, lunchtime sports, weekly clubs, and more. To end this first episode, I have an exclusive interview with Miss Meng. Miss Meng, what can you tell us about our school that makes it special? Wow, I love PB Middle School. The students are amazing. But the big thing is because we're an international baccalaureate school, we apply what we learn in our classrooms every day to make the world a better place. On top of that, we have amazing music program. We have a great video and TV uh, production. We have our Chinese immersion program. We do a lot of um, STEAM uh, events and activities in terms of um, spending time at the beach to do research for science classes. Great school. Thank you, Miss Meng. That's all for this first episode. Thanks for watching. Hello, this is Gabe with the PBMS miniseries. This episode, we'll be talking about the administration and the physical education program. Here is our admin building, where staff work to create a good learning space and keep the school running. Right now, we're outside the boys' locker room. Many of our PE teachers have won awards. Like the Governor's Award for Excellence in Physical Education, the California Coaches Association Middle School Coach of the Year, and more. In addition to having a great physical education program, the school has one shared grass field, one synthetic turf field, and four basketball courts. Next to me, I have Mr. Wittenberg. Mr. Wittenberg, what can you tell us about the PE program at PBMS? And does it encourage healthy eating behavior with the students? Yeah, I think they get access to varied and constructive activities that promote team building. Uh, in these activities, they get to interact with each other, learn new skills, practice skills they've already learned before. And in doing that, it promotes a healthy lifestyle that they can take when they go home. Thank you. This well, that's all for this episode. Stay tuned for the next two, where we'll tell you all about this amazing school. Hello, this is Gabe with the PBMS miniseries, episode 3. This episode, we will be talking about the Media Center and Library. Follow me. Right now, I am in the PBMS Media Center. Over here, we have the PBMS Yearbook and Media Classroom. Yearbook and Media is very special and is unique to PBMS. In that class, students learn about composition, lighting, script writing, storyboarding, editing, operating cameras, and more. Inside the classroom, there is a workspace, a studio, and an editing room. Up here, 8th graders can learn about their community service project from our IB coordinator, Ms. Henson. They can also receive counseling from our two school counselors, Ms. Priest and Ms. Rice, if they need help or support. This is the library. Here, students can check out and browse the library's large collection of books. We have fiction, nonfiction, mystery, drama, fantasy, and more. 
This is Ms. Kaufman, our school's librarian. Ms. Kaufman, what can you tell us about our school's library? Well, I think our library is really special. We have a great collection of books that are really geared toward middle school students. Our library is student-run at lunchtime. If you come up to check out books, you'll see students behind the counter checking books in and out and shelving books. Uh, we also have a lot of maker spaces in our library where you can come up and not only just to, to get a book, but you can, you know, build a Lego, uh, something with Legos. You can play with the marble works and uh, other, we have a, an area over on the other side that you can, uh, there's really cool coloring books that you can just enjoy and relax. Thank you, Ms. Kaufman. This is the end of the third episode. Join us next time. <laughs>